एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू द एनवायरनमेंट प्राइमर सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आईएएस माय नेम इज प्रज्ञा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिस्कस्ड एंड अ मोस्ट क्रूशियल टॉपिक्स व्हिच हैज गेन ट्रैक्शन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड द टाइटल ऑफ आवर टुडेस डिस्कशन इज ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन इन दिस डिस्कशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट व्हाट इज ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन वी विल आल्सो सी द अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड चैलेंजेस एसोसिएटेड विद द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन we are also going to discuss the national hydrogen mission which has been in introduced by our indian government then we are also going to discuss the recently introduced green hydrogen bus and in the end we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination so if i talk about the background of our today's discussion we are going crazy over this field uh, fuel this sustainable uh, you know hydrogen known as the green hydrogen because why because we are you know trying to uh, discover all of the alternatives that we can use to uh, replace the fossil fuels as our main fuel so this green hydrogen technology is has gained unprecedented traction across the world the world is going gaga over it and but it faces certain production challenges which we are going to study in our further slides but let's let us first understand that what is green hydrogen so if i talk about hydrogen as a element it is one of the most abundant elements in a planet in fact it forms 75% of the matter which is present on our planet but the problem with hydrogen is that it cannot exist alone it exists with other compounds such as Uh, oxygen or other carbon forming compounds and it is very difficult to extract the pure hydrogen so we are trying to develop a fuel known as the green hydrogen so all of this discussion revolves around the green hydrogen so what is this green hydrogen so green hydrogen is obtained from a process known as electrolysis electro lysis which you must have studied in your lower classes so to obtain uh, green hydrogen what are we doing we are using the process of electrolysis of water using renewable energy such as solar energy wind energy etc and we are trying to obtain the purest form of hydrogen a sustainable form of hydrogen why because what is happening is the most uh, currently we are using the grey hydrogen grey hydrogen although it is very cheap in nature but it productions releases a large amount of co2 in in our environment and we have also discussed the phenomenon of global warming which is happening due to the impact of greenhouse gases so this leaves a large amount of carbon footprints which is not the case with green hydrogen it has a lower amount of carbon footprint why because we are treating it in a container with this fuel cells fuel cells it facilitates the reaction of hydrogen in the oxygen which is with the oxygen which is already there in the atmosphere so it leaves no residue but water so that is why it is one of the most important sustainable fuels and the world is going crazy about it or we can say it is one of the most important sustainable fuels which is gaining a lot of traction around the globe and this is this was the all about the process of green hydrogen so why is the world wanting to explore this option of green hydrogen what are the opportunities associated with it let us discuss so if i talk about the opportunities that are discussed uh, associated with the production of green hydrogen the first opportunity is green hydrogen can be stored for long period of time your second advantage is green hydrogen can drive india's transition to clean energy and combat climate change so what is happening is india is taking a lead in the action to climate change we have various programs such as the national action plan on climate change then we have recently introduced the global biofuels alliance as well and we are also trying to promote this green hydrogen technology why because india is trying to take a lead in the action towards climate change 
and this will not only benefit us in reducing our carbon uh, footprints, it will also benefit us economically because this green hydrogen technology, this green technology will generate a lot of manufacturing opportunities in India, a lot of employment opportunities in India. So, this is not only benefiting us to reduce our carbon footprints, it is also going to benefit us economically. It will reduce import dependency on fossil fuels. This is the most important point that this is going to reduce our import de uh, dependency on the fossil fuels. Why? Because this climate change action is all about finding a alternative to fossil fuels to lower down the amount of greenhouse gases that is uh, in uh, you know introduced in our atmosphere and to maintain this uh, decarbonization effect by 2050 or decarbonization if challenged by 2050 we need to find an alternative source of fuel to fossil fuels and that is why we are so much concentrated on these sustainable fuels and we are talking about the development of these sustainable fuels. So, what are the challenges that are associated with the production of green hydrogen? Because in the background we were discussing that there are various challenges involved. So, the first, first and foremost challenge involved for India is electrolyzer challenge. According to IEA, that is the International Energy Agency, as of 2021, the global manufacturing capacity of electrolyzing SUS stands at 8 gigawatt per year. But we need to increase it to 60 to 80 gigawatt. If we want to attain our 2030 challenge of decarbonization. So, you see what is happening. We need to triple our production by 2030. And although India has launched projects for the production of uh, this green hydrogen, it is almost negligible in nature. Then there are there is access to critical minerals such as nickel, platinum group metals and rare earth metals such as lanthanum, yttrium and zirconium could hinder scaling up electrolyzing manufacturing capabilities in India. Why? Because we do not have access to these critical metals. Honestly, India lacks access to these critical metals and that is why electrolyzer challenge is very important for India because green hydrogen as we were discussing before is formed by electrolyzation process. So, this we need to build, build this capacity of electrolyzers if we want to take the lead in the green hydrogen production. Then the second uh, challenge involves the energy source. As per current estimates, a completely efficient electrolyzer system would require 39 kilowatt hour of electricity to produce 1 kg of hydrogen. This is just a rough figure. The actual figure is 48 kilowatt per hour. So, you see we are lagging far behind in our electro building our electrolyzer capacity. So, we need to achieve this to build efficient electrolyzer uh, facility to produce green hydrogen. Then India currently estimates a capacity of 125 gigawatt of renewable energy to meet its green hydrogen 2030 targets which would be in addition to the already proposed targets of 500 gigawatt renewable energy capacity. But we are lagging behind. We are just at 190 gigawatt hour. So, this is our original capacity of renewable energy. We are just producing 119 gigawatt of renewable energy and we need to ramp up this production if we want to take the lead in the green hydrogen. Then comes the end user challenge because the question, moot question here is, which industries require the uh, green hydrogen? Which industries are contributing most to the carbonization process? Which industries need to be decarbonized? And it is not easier for them to be decarbonized. And that is why we are talking about green hydrogen. So, these industries are uh, steel, cement and aluminum production as well as the transport industry. So, the moot question is, will, uh, is it easy for the government to decarbonize these industries? So, this also poses a very important challenge, like who will be the end user of this uh, green hydrogen if we ramp up its production? So, these are the various challenges associated with the green hydrogen production in India. 
Now let us talk about the National Hydrogen Mission, a very ambitious mission launched by our Indian government in the Union Budget for 21-22. And it will help us to draw up a roadmap for using hydrogen as an energy resource. So as I was discussing this before also, India is trying to develop hydrogen as an energy resource and that is why we are launching all of these ambitious missions uh, so as to ramp up uh, our production of green hydrogen. The mission aims to promote India as a global hub for green hydrogen and its derivatives. Why? Because I have already explained you that India is benefiting not only to decrease its carbon footprints, it is also you know um, benefiting economically. It will provide us a lot of manufacturing industry. It is uh, going to increase a lot of jobs in the green technology sector and that is why this mission uh, aims to enhance uh, pilot projects, research and development, skill development, standards and regulation and policy framework for green hydrogen. So, this is a very important ambitious mission launched by our Indian government to promote the production of green hydrogen. Now, let us talk about the recent current affairs news or the introduction of green hydrogen bus, the first of its kind. It has been introduced by our Union Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Hardeep Singh Puri on uh, Kartavya Path in New Delhi. The initiative is a part of Indian oil's efforts to conduct operational trials of 15 fuel cell buses powered by green hydrogen. Why? Because this will definitely decongest the roads as people will be using uh, public transports and we are already using electric buses. So, the buses which uses fossil fuel as the source of fuel will decrease on the roads and these kind of buses are not only environment friendly but they can also boost our public transportation system. Then the bus uses hydrogen and air to generate electricity, emitting only water as a byproduct, making it an eco-friendly mode of transportation. So this is what is the most advantageous position of green hydrogen that it only emits water as a byproduct because of the uh, interaction with the oxygen in the air. We are interacting it, electrolysis uh, is conducted by making it interact with the oxygen of the air. So, water is the only byproduct and that is why it has such a lower amount of carbon footprints. So, the bus will also do repeat the same process because it will run on the green hydrogen. So, with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. If you, if you ask me ma'am that what can be the way forward, how can we ramp up our production of green hydrogen? So, we need to you know cost cut, we need to use cost efficient technology, we need to have a solid built up of our electrolysis system. We need to promote safe uses of green hydrogen, safety concerns are also there. We need to promote safe storage of green hydrogen. We also need to technology, uh, increase technology transfers amongst the state. It should be stable and we also need to encourage trade of green hydrogen. So, these all can be the way forward to solve all of the challenges that are associated with the production of green hydrogen. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So, your question is consider the following heavy industries and this is a PYQ of 2023. Your option one is fertilization plant, oil refineries and steel plants. Green hydrogen is expected to play a significant role in decarbonizing how many of the above industries. So, I was discussing this before also that many of the heavy industries require uh, hydrogen. So, we need to analyze that is it possible to decarbonize all of these heavy industries and if yes, then green uh, hydrogen is going to decarbonize which of the following industries? You will let me know. Your options are option A is only one, option B is only two, option C is all three and option D is none of the above. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now, let us analyze a practice question for your men's examination. So, a question is discuss the opportunities and challenges associated with the production of green hydrogen. So, firstly, you will mention the opportunities which I have discussed. The introduction, you will write about the green hydrogen. How is it formed? You will also write its sustainable impacts. You will also going to discuss the opportunities which I have explained or the advantages which I have explained in my discussion today. You are also going to write the challenges that 
electrolysis challenge, energy source challenge, and then there were end user challenge. So all of these challenges you are going to explain in point wise. And then you can conclude that yes, hydrogen can be used as a sustainable fuel. And we need to decrease its cost of production. We need to focus on its safe storage. And that is how we will take the lead in uh, reducing our carbon footprint. So you can explain all this and conclude your answer on a positive note by mentioning the National Hydrogen Mission as well. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you find the today's discussion helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.